Hey everyone, so today's video is an update for my makeup rolling project pan and this is the first update since I posted the intro last month and if you have been watching my videos, yes I am in a different setup. I am at school now and I pre-filmed a lot of videos so you will be seeing my old setup in a couple videos coming up but for the most part these are going to be what my videos look like for the next few months and I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing background but I don't have much to work with so hopefully the video looks okay and the lighting and everything is all right but let's just go ahead and get into this update. So the first product is this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm and I do want to finish this. I really don't have much product left. I will insert photos of my progress but I did use this 22 times and I feel like a little bit of this goes a long way so I'm not using it up as quickly as I thought I would but I feel like I can finish this maybe in the next month if not definitely the month after that. So I have made some good progress on this but I feel like it might still take me a couple of months to completely finish up. The next product is my Little Nude Sticks Nudies Cream Stick Blush and this is obviously just a mini so theoretically it shouldn't take very long to use up but I feel like this is going pretty slowly. Obviously you don't need much when you use this but I do do the reverse foundation technique sometimes so if I do that technique I am definitely using a lot more because I'm putting it underneath my foundation instead of like on top but I do really like this product. I feel like it, new sticks are not necessarily worth it because they are so expensive and I find I feel like you can find dupes for this at the drugstore and for more inexpensive so I do just want to try to finish these off. I do have three little minis like this and this is just the first one I'm working on but I do really love the shade of this. It's sort of the perfect everyday shade for me. And I did use this 12 times in the past month and this is my progress right here so those two lines obviously the first line is the intro and then the second line is where I'm at right now so I haven't made too much progress but in 12 uses I feel like I use less than I thought I would so this might go a little bit more slowly than I initially hoped but I do only have a little bit left so hopefully it won't take too long and I'll be able to finish it in the next few months the next product is this revolution concealer this is just their Conceal and Define Concealer. I believe this is the only concealer they have, but I have had this for a pretty long time and I just wanted to finish it off and get some concealers out of my collection so that I can try some new ones. And I thought there was a good amount of product left in here, but there's actually way less than I initially thought. So I was gonna roll this out this update, but Basically this is like getting really dried up because I'm getting to the end of the tube so I don't really like the way it looks under my eyes and especially now in the winter time my face is getting really really dry so I don't like to wear this under my eyes anymore but I do like to go in with a little bit of concealer after I've done my eyeshadow just to clean up the edge and make it a little bit sharper so I figured instead of rolling this out and calling it done when there is still a little bit of product left in it I'm just gonna continue to use this sort of just to clean up my eyeshadow not actually as a concealer since it is getting pretty dry and it's not my favorite formula to apply under my eyes or on my face but it does work really well just to clean up my eyeshadow a little bit so I was going to roll this out but I think I'm just going to keep it in and continue to use it in that way just to finish the rest of this product off there really isn't that much left so this may get rolled out next month, but I have used it 14 times so far, and I definitely thought there was a lot more product left in here, but I guess I have used this a lot in the past, and like I said, I have had it for a while, so it is getting pretty old, so I'm excited to have this close to finished in my collection. The next product is this little ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Balm, sort of tinted lip balm product. And this one is in the shade Z Boys. And I did pan one of these last year. The only other shade that I had, it was in the Strand. And it was just a really pale light pink shade. And I feel like this one is a lot more pigmented. So it's going way slower. And I feel like this is going to take me a lot longer than that other one did, which I obviously wasn't expecting. So I did make a good amount of progress. I used it 25 times and I have been just throwing this on sort of as a lip balm throughout the day and this is how much product I have left so there's really not too much product left I feel like it will still take me a while to get through this maybe a few months but I feel like this is 
definitely possible to finish and especially if I'm applying it multiple times a day. And my progress for this one is right here. So again, the first line is the intro and then the second line is where I'm at right now. So I did make a good amount of progress and I am happy with the progress that I made on this. It's just gonna go a little bit slower than the other just a tint little lip balm that I panned did. So I wasn't really expecting that, but I still want to finish this and get it out of my collection. The next product that I knew was gonna be a more challenging one, so I'm not really close to finishing this, is the Stila Stale Day Liquid Lip. This one is in the shade Patina, and I did use this nine times, which is a pretty good amount of use for one month, and I think I just wanna to continue to use it consistently. I'm hoping probably about like 10 times a month, and I actually haven't been using this very often on my lips as a lipstick. I actually use this as sort of a liquid blush, but this is really, really pigmented, so you only need the tiniest little dot to cover your cheek. So sometimes I do go a little bit overboard with this, but I also like a really intense blush look. So I do really, really love using this as a blush and I find that it stays on really well, obviously because it is a liquid lipstick. So I have been enjoying this on the cheeks, not necessarily as a liquid lipstick. I feel like I just don't really like wearing liquid lipsticks on my lips. I just don't like that really matte formula and they can sometimes be a little bit on the thick side. I just prefer a normal lipstick or a lip gloss to apply to my lips. So I am happy to use this just as a liquid blush and get some use out of it that way. And my goal is to completely finish this. So I'm hoping I can do it by the end of the year, but I know this one is gonna be a very long one to finish, but I can see sort of some holes in the packaging where I can see through the tube. So that is good. I'm definitely getting somewhat close to finishing it and I have used it a lot. So I'm really happy to continue to work on this one. The next product that I also know is gonna be in this project for a really long time is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one is in the shade Vanilla Quartz, so it's just a really pretty light champagne-y vanilla shade. I'm so bad at describing shades, but it is a really pretty highlight, and I did have to repress this because it literally just fell out of the pan. So I had to repress this obviously before I rolled it into this project. So it's not exactly flat pressed into here. So it's kind of like bumpy and I feel like the center is almost higher than like around the edges. And I pretty much just been dipping into the center of this and you can't really see any difference or any noticeable dip going in here. I will insert the pictures just so you guys can see a little bit better my progress, but I feel like this one is definitely going a lot slower than I thought it would, but I already knew that this was gonna take a while to hit pan on. And I don't remember if I said, but I did use this 12 times. So I pretty much used this most times I applied makeup. And also, sorry if you hear random noises, I do live at college now, so you might hear some random loud bangs and strange noises, but I'm just gonna ignore that. So this one, again, I know is gonna be in here for a while, but I'm happy to use it. And I honestly didn't bring too much makeup to college with me, so I pretty much only have my Project Pan products and then like a few extras and other products that I potentially want to pan. So now we're moving on to the more fun items and one that I am gonna be rolling out. So this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, I did roll in obviously in the intro. This is in the shade Birthday Girl and a lot of my Super Shock Shadows are very, very dried out. And this is one of them that is pretty, pretty dry. So I did want to hit pan on this, but after using it this month, there's literally no dip going. It doesn't even look like it's been touched just because it is so dried out. And when I apply it to my eyes, because it's not that really creamy formula anymore, I find that I do get a lot of fallout with this and I just don't get the same effect that I did obviously when I first got this and it was a lot more creamy. So I just find myself not wanting to reach for this and not really wanting to use it because it is so dried out. So I feel like this is kind of dying on me. So I am actually just gonna declutter this and throw it out. I've definitely had it for at least a year now, maybe a couple of years. So I think it is time to get rid of this. So I am just gonna declutter it even though I wasn't able to hit pan. It's just so, so dried out and 
I just don't want to use it anymore. So this one is going to be leaving my collection. But I do want to roll in another Super Shock shadow. So I'm going to roll in the shade Birthday Cake. And this one isn't as dried out as that one. So hopefully I have more luck with this. And my goal again is just going to be to hit pan with this. And like I said, this one is still a little bit creamy. So hopefully I can get some good use out of this and actually hit pan. I do kind of see the outline of the pan. And people say that it's really easy to hit pan on Super Shock shadows, but I don't think so. I think it's actually pretty challenging just because I always apply them with my finger and you really don't need too much. So I don't understand how people hit pan on Super Shock shadows so easily, but my goal will be to hit pan. So hopefully I can do that within a couple of months. And with my other ColourPop Super Shock shadow in the shade Birthday Girl, I did use this nine times in the last month. So I did get some good use out of it. And obviously I used it a lot before that, before I put it into this project. So I am happy with the use that I got out of this. And I am actually gonna be rolling in another product because I was going to roll out that concealer but I just decided to continue to use it until it's completely finished up. So I do still want to roll in another product just for fun. I only had seven products in this project last month and now I will have eight. So I feel like that's still not too many products, but I want to roll in one of my single shadows and I just put a few in here so that I could bring them with me to school. But this cute little ColourPop palette I got like years and years ago when they sold little four pan palettes like this and you can pop these shades out so I did put this together myself and the one you might already tell that I want to pan and finish up completely is this one right here it is the shade Grandstand from Makeup Geek and I didn't use all this up I actually dropped it and I lost a lot of it because it shattered so I do just want to finish this and hopefully I can do that within a few months I believe I did put this into a project last year and I just made some progress on it but I want to completely finish it up so that is it for all of my updates and progress i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and i do post new videos about three times a week so if you want to see more from me make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time i post thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time